Well, hello and welcome. And in this video, I want to do a little history of the Nevada State Orphanage. It was also known as the Children's Home. The first orphanage in Nevada was located in Virginia City and operated by the Sisters of Charity. It opened in 1867, but after a couple of years, the legislator decided that taking care of the homeless children was the state's job. So they authorized the state's orphanage to be built in Carson City. And here's a picture of the original wooden orphanage back in 1885. And I think it burnt down in 1902. So after the fire, the orphans again found themselves homeless. So they built this beautiful building out of sandstone quarried from the state prison and opened up in 1903. And here we have the orphanage in the 1950s. You can see where the two-story cupola was removed and it was renamed as Sunny Acres. But it too was demolished in the early 60s in favor of the cottage style setting, kind of like the Brady Bunch, which we're going to go see right now. Come along with me. So here's the site. Carson City and this here was the main office and this is my first time here I was in Wittenberg Hall my PO drove me down here to see if I would like it here either come in here or go to Elko Boys State Prison. Right about here a girl walks out and says, you come to live here? And I said to myself, hell yeah. This one's Cottage 4. I'm pretty sure this was a girl's cottage. This one here is cottage number three. I can't forget if these were girls or boys. I know there was two girl cottages and the rest were all boys. Pretty sure these were built back in 1963. These cottage style homes. Jay made it back home. This here's cottage number two. Yep. This was my home from 1979 to 1980. This was my window right here. Well, I shared it with other kids. I think there's like 10, 10 boys per unit. And this old bush right here, you're not so big now, huh? And trying to climb out that window, you'd get all thorned up. Well, they called this a children's home. But it was more like a insane asylum, if you ask me. Because I was here. Most of the kids came from Vegas, or Reno. Just people that, not most of them were even orphans. I guess they just had troubled homes. And they'd place them here. There's one thing though, we were, we were family though. We were the home kids. There's pretty much all of us against every other kid in this damn town. 
we all went to Carson High, the home of the Senators. But it was cool because I was used to it from Sun Valley. People putting you down. It just made us closer and like a tribe. They're black, white, Indian, all kinds of different kids. We all got along just fine back in them days. Yeah, I think they had kids here as young as five years old, up to 18. This used to be our playground. This is where we play handball. We can play tennis. This is the maintenance building. One thing, we had the fire department right next to us, so that was a good deal. Yep. This was the butcher shop right here. This here's the gymnasium. I remember they had, I'm pretty sure they had basketball hoops, other games to play. And check out these sandstone. These were quarried from the prison, Carson City Prison, probably like six blocks down the street. I think this is one of the remnants of the orphanage in 1903. Sure is pretty. Well, the end of my story is my buddy came to Reno to come see me. Jay here. Mrs. Jones wouldn't let me go out with him. We we're just gonna go downtown and mess around. She said, no, we got in a fight. I ran out this door. Me and my buddy stuck out her thumb. Hitchhiked all the way to Iowa. Which did not work out well either for me. Oh well. You live and you learn. I'm still here, baby. Thanks for watching.